In this video we're going to have a look at using uh, dynamic marker icons uh, for markers that are set up, in this case per state. So we've got a, a map in the United States, North America, and um, the markers for California that you're going to about to see are going to be different marker icons than the ones used on the uh, East Coast. So I'll just run this. You can see all the uh, markers in California are different than the ones that uh, from everything else so these are kind of a default marker that I put in but everything in California using a different one so let's go and have a look to see how we did this so here's a UX component here's my map control and here's the uh, button that I I uh, press to um, to run my functions now in this case uh, I need some data and I, I don't want to spend a lot of time uh, mucking about with it so I just ran it through a quick X basic conversion uh, I took some uh, static data that was uh, available and uh, so we'll just have a quick look at what this is doing so all we're doing is making an AJAX callback now, again you don't have to do this it depends on how you're getting your data so, but you know so it doesn't really matter but um, in my AJAX callback I'm just taking some static data that's provided by alpha and I'm putting it into a string and then I'm just converting it uh, to a dot variable and then I'm doing a gen, uh, JSON generate from that to uh, just turn it into JSON data that's all I'm doing and um, I'm returning JSON data into this um, namespace variable for the dialog object and then I'm running a JavaScript function called add markers so let's go and have a look at that now go into JavaScript functions so here's add markers Add markers grabs the data and we get a pointer to the map object. Uh, we don't need this array and get rid of that. I'm just setting a couple of variables up for a current marker settings and a location as well. So all we're doing here is we're looping through the data because it's sitting in uh, it's an array of objects um, containing name, uh, state, latitude, longitude. Um, and uh, so we're just looping through that and here I'm checking to see if the state's equal to California then I'm setting up a particular marker icon otherwise it's going to have a standard uh, the red dot marker icon the standard icon and then we're going ahead and we're going to set up an object uh, called settings where we actually set all this stuff so the icon in here is going to be set to marker icon which of course we set up here then everything else is uh, kind of standard defaults D uh, no detail, no overlay, um, it's not draggable, there's no animation, nothing like that. So that's set up as, um, as the settings that are going into the, uh, the method that we're going to be using. Oh, we don't need this. So we're setting up, we're grabbing our location, um, so we're looping through each one of these and we're doing an add marker for each uh, marker that we want to add. Uh, the location is the uh, latitude and the longitude, and we're setting up into an array. Um, and then we're uh, setting up a marker name uh, as my marker under bar and uh, just the number of the loop that we're going through. And then we're doing a map object, which is our object to our map control. We're just doing an add marker, in which place uh, we, we pass in the uh, marker name, the uh, location, which is the latitude and longitude, and the settings that we've got. So we'll be setting, uh, sending in a, a different icon for California markers than for everything else. And that's all we need to do. So if we walk through this in, uh, let me just save that. I'll do a live preview first, just so we can walk through the XBasic. So here's our X basic code. We step through this. We can see we've got our map data sitting in a string. So there's our map data. Carriage return uh, line feed delimited string. There's our property. We're going to initialize that. So now if we look at that variable, we 
we can see that uh, we've got all our data sitting in there and there's our named properties step through it there's our JSON so if we have a look at our JSON stuff now there's our nice JSON data and that's nice easy stuff that we can pass into uh, into our JavaScript function and then we just assign it and set it so let's just uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and halt that and I'm going to go back over here and we are going to inspect this so we can watch the uh, JavaScript run now so I'm just going to reload this again And here's our code running. We've got map data. So there's our array of all our data. Set up a couple of, of variables and just run through this. So our state is equal to CA. We set that. Settings are set. And we just do our. Uh, bring this down so you can see it current marker add a map object and then just run the whole thing so everything got run and now we should zoom out and we'll see that California is different and that's about it thanks for having a look